safety and prosperity of our society depends on really the correct working out of our digital system nowadays. I mean, think about how pervasive digital systems are. Uh, I mean, we go home, your, your door lock might be a smart door lock. Uh, we go to hospital, uh, almost every single thing that measures my white toe seems to be electronic. Um, so, I mean, it's just fully integrated in our lives, our analysis actually depends on it. And there's not enough talent in, in the current job market to go after or to address all of these challenges. Let's say you're a CEO or a CIO or a Chief Information Security Officer or a CISO, and you look around and say, okay, who, who's on my team? And you look around and, and uh, there's a lot of empty seats because they can't hire the people. So this talent shortage is very acute. I mean, right here in, in our area, in the St. Louis region, there's 4,000 open positions that can't be filled. Across the United States, it's about 350,000. And that's projected to grow. So as, a, as someone that wants to enter, the, or maybe perhaps wants to enter the field, um, it's a good time to do it. It will continue to be a good time to do it. But if you're a company looking to hire people, they're just not there. Cyber, if you think about cyber risk, it's just another component of the inner working of your entire organization. From an organizational standpoint, we've all heard about the major breaches Target, Sony, uh, Equifax, Home Depot, you name it, uh, Facebook, we just heard. So these types of breaches, they're, there's, they're going to continue to happen. And the impact to an organization is reputation. So Facebook lost millions of subscribers over the past year with various things that have happened, all right? Uh, Facebook's still worth a lot of money in the market, whatever, stock market, but still it's a reputational hit that uh, that company and other companies prefer not to have. So the boards uh, and CEOs and C-suites and leaders of organizations do not want that reputational hit because that causes damage to the organization. So the society actually calls for talents in cybersecurity to, to step up to the role of defending the society. So um, I think of my, my, myself and probably my students as the new generation of superheroes that would protect the world. The people that enter the field, uh, they have not just, they're not motivated simply by the technology, although most are, it's that they're doing something that actually makes a difference. The, the cybersecurity field offers this sense of, hey, I am defending our organization. I am protecting it, and that's that's a different dimension and different dynamic that I think uh, is attractive to, to many to many people.